automating Quicken. In this lesson, you will learn how to automate Quicken entries, quick fill preferences, memorized payee list, scheduled transaction list, how to use the calendar, how to set up a paycheck, how to use your address book. Quick Fill will allow Quicken to immediately fill in the rest of the name when you type in just the first few letters of the name. Then, when you progress to the next field, Quicken will automatically fill in all of the information for you based on your last entry. The Quick Fill feature is automatically set up to work this way. If it is not, or you would like to change the way it is set up, you can change the defaults in the Preferences tab. We will now show you how to do this. Select the Quicken Program menu item from the Preferences submenu. Select Quick Fill. Roll the mouse over a preference option to learn more about it. Click OK when you have finished selecting your preferences. How to work with the memorized payee list. Select the Cash Flow menu. Select the Memorized Payee List menu item. Go to Find and Replace will bring you to the Find and Replace menu for Finding Replacing Payee Names. New will create a memorized payee. Edit, Rename, and Delete will perform the actions their name implies when a memorized payee is selected. Use will display and fill in the appropriate register for your transaction. The lock icon locks the setting for the selected transaction. If the transaction is locked, the payee's information will not be memorized if you make any changes. This means you can create a template by locking the information on a transaction. The calendar icon turns on the calendar setting for the transaction. If the calendar icon appears, the information will appear on the calendar. We will now edit a transaction. Select a payee and click Edit. In the Edit field, we can make changes to any of the displayed fields. We will select the Memo field and make a change. Click OK to save the change. By clicking the New button, we can enter a new memorized payee. Select the type of transaction this person inst insert the payee name. Select the category, in this case expense, the payee represents. You can enter a memo amount for the transaction if you like. Remember this information can be edited when you enter the actual transaction. Click OK to save your new memorized payee. The new item is locked by default. We can unlock We will now show you how to use the Find and Replace function in the Memorized Payee list. Select Go to Find and Replace. Enter your search criteria in the Find field box. Select Find All to search. Select the transactions you want to replace or select Mark All to select all. Once you have selected your transactions, you can select what to replace from the Replace drop-down menu and what to replace it with by selecting an item or making an entry in the With box. Click Replace to make the replacement. Since we changed the payee name, Quicken created a new renaming rule. Click OK to continue. Click Done to close the Find and Replace window. We will now show you how to rename a payee. Select the payee and click Rename. Enter the new name of the payee. 
Click OK to make the move to the Edit Renaming Rule window. The fields in the Edit Renaming Rule window are already filled out for you to make the name change. You only need to click OK. The new name has now taken effect. Click the Close button to exit the memorized payee list. Scheduling transactions.